What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Juice for two motherfucking eyes. Y'all already know what it is, man. We on Metallica. We're on Damage Inc. Um, my review of Metallica so far. Let's give them a one through ten, okay? It's about a two, two and a half. <laughs> I'm just being honest, man. I like a lot more bands more than them. Uh, they're by far my least favorite band overall. I'm just being honest with you people. But I have done a few polls and asked what you guys want to see. And you guys keep telling me, Juice, you're giving up way too soon on Metallica. Keep trying. You might find one song that you enjoy. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. This is by far the most requested Metallica song we have left. By far, hands down, not even close. So I decided not to pull up no comments or anything. We just going to jump into it. It's a six minute song, five minutes, 38 seconds. We're going to jump into it. I'm going to, I'm, I'm doing my videos a little bit different now. So this is Metallica is going to be a little bit different. I'm doing a lot more pausing. I'm breaking down the lyrics a lot. And I understand Metallica doesn't have lyrics. Oh my gosh. If, if y'all understood the headache that y'all gave me from, from telling me that. I'm going to try to break down the instrumentals in this song. To the best of my ability. So, I'm going to let you know what I like, what I don't like, and everything. And if there is lyrics and the good substance in it, then we'll break that down as well. With all being said, let's jump into it. Let's see what's hitting for. Psych, y'all thought I was going to let y'all get up out of here without a 30-second uh, snippet of one of my songs, man. We got Kevin Gates, Money Bag Yo, Federal Pressure. Here go a 30 second snippet. Let me know hashtag your song down in the comment section below if you fucking with it or not. On oh, CNN, the media really did. Huh? What? <laughs> I ain't even gonna keep playing this song. That's just that's just the intro of the song. That's the very intro of the song. Just some little bar, just some little shit. Let me know what y'all thought about it. Um, it's Federal Pressure by Kevin Gates and Money Bag Yo. If y'all wanna check that out, man. Let's see what damaging is hitting for, man. <sighs> uh, y'all don't understand how bad I want to find a Metallica song that I like. I don't think y'all get it. All right, let me pause it right quick, just a minute in. All right, let me see. All right, we go about two minutes without no lyrics. Okay. Now, my critique of Metallica has always been, it's a minute, 30 seconds, always, of instrumental before you even hear lyrics or any substance. That's always been a huge critique of mine. So now we're going to try for the minute, 30 minute, two minutes, whatever it is on the intro, we're going to try to break down what we're hearing. Now, for me personally... I, this whole minute that we've been listening, I feel they could have done 10 seconds to 15 seconds of this exact same loop that we're on right now. And they could have played that for 15 seconds, 10, 20 seconds, 20 seconds max, and then cut into the next part. And if they keep doing this for two minutes straight before we get lyrics, they could have done it for 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds max. You don't have to be so long because when you how you guys feel about my intro sometimes on how they're super long, I feel the same way about a Metallica song. And this, there is not a whole lot of instrumentals going on. So okay, now it's switching up.
Okay. I want to talk about that, especially before we get any lyrics. When the instrumental changed up and we got a lot more uh, uh, other instruments being involved, to me, the instrumentals, they just sound forced. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful to them at all. But just to me, it just sounds like they're forcing a bunch of the instrumentals together. You guys say how Metallica is so much better than everyone, how they're so much evolved and blah, 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 blah. Okay, we get that. But to me, I just don't hear it because it's so much going on that they're forcing it to me and it's being a forced instrumental and it's all just smashing up against the, up against each other. And it doesn't sound very good. Like, personally, it just doesn't. Hold on, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We might actually have some lyrics. Dealing, okay, it says dealing on the agony within charging, within charging hard, and no one's gonna give in. Living on your knees, okay. So living on your, so it goes from living on your knees to or dying on your feet for honesty. So it's saying, are you gonna like be someone that just lives on your knees and like, let people walk over you or go through life just not happy, not being, not feeling blessed, not feeling who you're supposed to, like, how you're supposed to carry yourself as a person. Or, or dying on your feet with honest, or dying on your feet for honesty. So how I'm taking that is, are you just going to listen, like, listen to someone else and, and just go with what they say, even though you don't really agree with it? Like you're thinking that this is bullshit. Like I'm, I'm, I don't agree with that at all. Like that's, that's no. Like that's foul. Like no, whatever the case may be. Or are you gonna stand up and be like, look, like it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna fire me because of this, if you wanna not be my friend because I don't feel it, if you're not feeling something on the government and you're actually someone that'll speak out upon it on social medias and not just talk about it to yourself and stuff like that. That's the kind of uh, gist I'm getting from that. Let me know with hashtag honesty down in the comment section below. So far, um, how can you relate to the lyrics that they said? Yeah. Okay, he said, he said, I'm going to run back all these lyrics too so we can hear them real well. He said... But never cry, submission, following our instinct, not a trend. So he's basically saying, never cry, submission. Like, never cry, like, you guys understand what submission means, okay? Never under, ne never cry, submission, following our instinct, not a trend. Like, I'm not just going to do something just because someone else is doing it and I want to be cool. I'm going to do what I want to do because that's what I feel like I should be doing. That's what that says. And that's how I'm interpreting that. And then it goes to say, go against the grain and to the end. So like grain being a substance of going against the person, place or thing or government or situation or something that has occurred from family stuff or just whatever the, whatever the case may be. I'm going to go against the grain until the end. Like I'm going to ride this motherfucker out. Like this is my opinion. This is how I'm feeling about me. This is how I'm feeling about that or whatever the case may be. So I like that. Let's run, the, let's run back these little bars though. Let's run back these little bars though. Living on your knees, confirm it. Oh, it on your knees. Mm. Huh? Following our knees to the end. I think. I like that. Hold on, let me pause that. I like that. When you hear this part right here. I like that on the breakup. I like that from the switch up to the breakup to the next part. I like that aggressiveness from the instrumental. I think it's kind of forced throughout the song though, but I like that breakup part. I really do. And it's like, bump, 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 bump. You see what I'm saying? Go. Yeah. Huh?
like the guitar in this. I don't like the instrumental right here. I don't mind it, I mean. I'll flee with fury, run. You'll know just where we from. Okay. Hold on, hold on, all right, all right, I know the song's coming out. I wanted to wait to the end, but I want to talk about it now. I feel like the solo would have sounded better without this, without this in the background. Without the in the background with the drums and the bass, I feel if they would have just fell that, if they'd have let that flat out, boom, and then go to a flat to where they're not playing at all, because I feel like that solo was dope. I feel like they did their thing. Like whoever did, whoever's playing the guitar, I feel like he did his motherfucking thing on that. You feel me? Because he came at you aggressive and then dropped it down and then picked that motherfucker back up and then kept that motherfucker up and then slowly dropped it down and then picked that bitch right back up and then just was going crazy with it. Like I think that might be the best solo that I have heard. You know what I'm saying? Like truthfully, like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. Y'all know me. I think that was the best solo that we've heard from Metallica, in my opinion. Now, you guys can say that that was their worst solo, and I wouldn't know the difference. But to me, I thought that that was fire. But again, I think that the instrumental in the background is being forced throughout majority of the song. For my ears. And I think if they would have just let the guitar breathe, and let the guitar do all the talking, and that would be a perfect time on like a live stage where the drummer just stops playing his drums for a second the bass player and the vocalist, and they all just crowd the guitars while he's fucking it up on the live stage and going crazy. Because he was doing his thing on that. My opinion, though, he was going crazy on that. And I feel like, if once again, if they had just broke it off and let him go crazy, it would have sounded so much better. But then again, they could have did that, and I could have heard it, and I could have thought the solo was trash. I'm not sure, but that's just what I'm thinking from hearing the part that I have heard. Let's jump back into this though. My bad. We just like right there. We'll run that back. No, just had to give him what you want. Huh? Never had been ending on these dark sets. All of a sudden, damage ain't gonna be. Okay. Now let's talk about it real quick. I think this song and Master of Puppets are the best song. Everything else I didn't really like at all, I don't believe. I mean there could have been parts that I liked, but throughout the song at least. I think I like Master of Puppets one and then Damage of Ink two. The only thing that's killing it for me in this song is I feel like the instrumental is being forced. Um, I did like the lyrics in this, though. The lyrics weren't bad. Like, okay, for a Metallica song, I think the lyrics were very good. Okay? 
But for like other bands and stuff, I just think they're average lyrics. They had some decent stuff in there, don't get me wrong. But I think the lyrics were average. But for the Metallica songs that we've heard, it's, it's very good lyrics compared to all the other Metallica songs. I didn't enjoy the instrumental as much. I just feel... You guys also have to understand, like, I've probably heard 40 songs on the channel now of these genres. And this really... my This is say it's my 41st video. This is my 41st time really trying to listen to instrumentals on songs that aren't computerized and that aren't rap and hip-hop and dancing and groove and funk you know what i'm saying it's more metal it's more rock it's more punch it's more it's more uh it's more ingenuity as a free-for-all if that makes sense like it's more ingenuity of each artist trying to feed off of one another and they and i get where it's coming from because every every uh um, member of the band wants to eat in the song and what I mean by that is they all want to have a good part in the song like they all want their part to be heard and I think that that may slow that may ruin the song a little bit for me because there's so much going on and I'm not my brain just naturally isn't there to catch everything that's going on and appreciate everything that's going on so don't get mad when I say that it's just not for me because it's just not for me. That's all I that's all I mean by it. You know what I'm saying? Like just like the music I listen to is probably not for you. But overall I get a song of three. I give it a three. I get a lyrics of four for Metallica. I give the voice, I give the singing, I give the way that he said the rhymes, I give it a four. I give the instrumental about a one, one and a half max. So it'll round off to about a three for me. But that's not bad, though. I think the only other song to get a three or higher is uh, Master of Puppets. Everything else has been like a one, a zero, a two, at most. Um, let me know if you guys want to hear me react to another Metallica song down in the comment section below. I appreciate everyone for tuning in. 200 likes, man, 200 comments. Let me go ahead and throw that up real quick for y'all. Um, subscribe if you want to my post notifications. If you're a new sub, comment new sub down in the comment section. Um, we, go, we do live reactions once a week, so you know what I mean? Tune into one of those. Yeah, and I'm out this bitch.